What's up, family? How y'all doing today? It's your girl, Miss Pretty You. Sorry about the music. I'm in Starbucks, so right now my Wi-Fi is down. I do not have Wi-Fi, so I have to come to Starbucks, y'all, to um, do my I do my recording at home normally, but I have to come to Starbucks to do my uploading, so because I'm not a huge coffee drinker, to be honest. So today is welcome back. First of all, shout out to all of my free birds, all of my beauties that um, beauty and handsome gentlemen that grace my page or my channel i should say i'm so stuck on my space y'all <laughs> i'm not i'm not <laughs> i just say page but um everyone that graces my page and comes and just show me so much love i comment and and i just appreciate it anyway this is a did y'all know video and this video is about guessed it the onion so this video is pretty much the truths and myths about the onion. Did y'all know? So can a raw onion prevent the flu? There are no scientific evidence that a cut raw onion absorbs germs or rids air of toxins and poisons. However, it is in a very, very good old remedy. Like for example, um, I was taught, um, actually by a friend that she was taught by her grandmother, by one of my best friends, that if you put a cut raw onion in the socks of a child, or maybe even adult, if they have a high fever, the onion is supposed to reduce the fever, and it really does work. So that's a myth that I do live by. It's true, it does work. So, how about it preventing the flu? A wives' tale that dates back as far as the 1500s claims that placing a raw cut onion in rooms throughout the residence could protect its occupants from getting the bubonic plague. Long before germs were discovered, the dominant belief was contagious diseases were spread by Missima. Asthma, it looks like it says. I'm sorry, y'all. And um, noxious air. While false, these beliefs retain part of folk medicine through the 19th century, claiming to ward off epidemics like smallpox, influenza, and other infectious fevers. So the onion has a lot of good benefits. I love onions. I cut up onions and put them on my food all the time. They are so good for you. And this is the point of my video. So it was a myth, um, or no, it was said that if you cut basically it says cut onions or leftover onions poisonous so basically saying if you have an onion like i do today so you can see that i've used it i got this onion today i cut it and i used it right and basically once you sorry guys once you cut and use an onion is it after you cut it and use it you're supposed to throw it away because it's been said that it has poisonous toxins in it that can cause harm to your body as well as your system and I'm going to tell you straight up right now before I even read this, y'all. If I have a cut onion, you got damn right I'm going to use the onion. I do my best to use the onion before the seven days. Or I say I probably keep it in my, fr my refrigerator, honestly, a week, a week and a half. And then after that, you know, you have to throw it away because it starts getting those little things on it and stuff. And you want to get rid of it. But I'm not going to sit here and lie and say that I had an onion before and I cut it today and threw it away. That's a guy. Even if it did bullshit because I've done it before and it happened to me so whatever but according to this when handled properly cut onions are not poisonous after being cut onions can be stored in the refrigerator in a sealed container for up to seven days so a sealed container or you can put it in plastic wrap what I typically do I put it in like if I don't have plastic wrap I put it in aluminum foil and I put it in a ziploc bag and it's just fine I ain't about to throw away no good no good onion for nobody now, somebody tell me and show me proof of what somebody died or somebody got really, really sick from using the onion, then yeah, okay, fine. But I've done it before and I've been okay. Me and my kids are okay. I ain't about to waste no damn food. And that's my problem. I'm so fat now because I don't like wasting food. A widely circulated claim states uncooked leftover onions are poisonous because they're huge magnet for bacteria, thus likely to spoilage, which makes sense. This claim stems from a blog post that dates back to March 2008 and prior. While the original post was removed from the internet in 2009, part of that post continues to circulate the internet for, and then blah, 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 blah. And it says we can look further into, um, into this to see about the details and what it causes and so forth and or if it's true or not. And I'm going to say it's not true. So just a quick fun fact for you guys. Um, did y'all know? And as always, guys, I appreciate my subscribers. I appreciate everyone who supports me. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in with Miss Free to You. And I'll holla. Bye.